Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you how you can show your content side by side with your video in Microsoft Teams. This will allow you to do something that looks like this. Yeah, you have full control over where your video shows up when you're presenting in Microsoft Teams if you share your desktop. Today when you present in Microsoft Teams, your content takes the front and center of the sharing view and your video gets relegated down to the bottom corner. That's no longer a problem, you could put your video wherever you want. Now I realize that Microsoft is working on improving this experience but that hasn't landed yet. So in the interim, this is a fantastic solution that you can use to take full control over where your content and your video shows up. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you step-by-step step how you can do this. Here I am on my desktop and I'm currently in a Microsoft Teams meeting and I'm sharing my desktop. Now, if we look over at Adele's screen, you see me on her screen in the bottom right hand corner alongside my content. Now, when I jump into presentation mode, I could talk about my content, but once again, my video is stuck in the bottom right corner. In fact, if Adele clicks on her phone screen, my video disappears altogether. As a presenter, I'd like to have more control over where my content shows up and where my video shows up. So how do we do that? Well, let's exit presentation mode for a second and I'm gonna show two different tools that you can get that'll allow you to show your video wherever you want alongside your content. Here I am on my desktop and first off, I wanna show you a tool that you can download for free that'll show your webcam and you'll be able to position it anywhere. Head over to the following website, I've included a link in the description so you can just navigate here directly. Once you land on this website, there's a button here that says download now. Go ahead and click on that and download it to any location on your computer. Once you finish downloading the webcam viewer, you'll have a zip file on your computer. I decided to put it directly on my desktop. Click into the zip file and within the zip file, you'll see an application called webcam viewer. Now you don't actually have to install anything. All we're going to do is run this application and we'll be able to do what we need to do. Once you close the application, it'll be closed and there will be nothing left behind on your system because we did not install anything. Let's click on webcam viewer. This opens up webcam viewer and so far we don't see much happening here. How do we get our webcam image to show up? Well, right down in the bottom left hand corner, there's a field that says select camera in a drop down. Let's click on this. If you have multiple cameras hooked up to your computer, select the camera that you wanna use alongside your Teams presentation. Now, one thing to note, if you currently have your webcam turned on in Microsoft Teams, you'll have to turn off your camera first. I've turned off my camera in Microsoft Teams and now I'm gonna select my Microsoft LifeCam HD 5000. Next, I can also choose the resolution. I wanna go with the highest possible resolution here. I'm gonna go with 1280 by 720. Once I've selected the resolution, let's click on start. Check that out, here is my webcam image. So we have to do a few more things before we're ready to use this. Up in the top bar, you have a few different options. Let's click on the settings gear. When we click on the settings gear, one of the settings is to keep this on top. We wanna keep my video on top of any other content. I'm gonna check this on. As an example, now that I've checked it on, if I bring this file explorer window behind the application, my webcam image will stay on the topmost layer. And this is critical when we show some other type of content because we want our video to appear in front of it. We're almost there with the webcam viewer. The next thing that I wanna do is remove some of the Chrome that appears around the webcam viewer. Up here, also on the top bar, there's an option where you can hide the Chrome. Let's click on this icon. Now you see my webcam image uses up the full real estate and I could configure the dimensions of this so my video fills up the entire space and that looks pretty good right there. Now before we jump into Microsoft Teams, I also wanna show you how you can set up a webcam viewer in another application called OBS. So if you don't wanna download the webcam viewer or if you just want an alternative because maybe the webcam viewer doesn't work for you, I also wanna show you how you can do this in OBS. 
Here I am on the website obsproject.com. For this too, you can also click on a link in the description to navigate to this website. Now OBS will not only allow you to show your video in Microsoft Teams, it's also an extremely powerful screen recorder and app that you could use for streaming. It works on all different platforms including Windows, Mac, and Linux. In fact, I use it for screen capturing all of my videos on YouTube. Go ahead and choose your platform and run through the installation process. Once you finish downloading OBS, launch the OBS application. If this is your first time ever using OBS and you're interested in also using this as a screen recorder, I've included a link in the description that'll give an overview of how to get started with OBS. To get your video to show up in OBS, down under scenes, we first off need to add a new scene. I'm gonna click on the plus icon and I'm simply going to type in webcam. Once you type it in, click on OK. Now we need to add a source and down here in the left hand corner, let's click on the plus icon and I'm gonna add a video capture device. I'm gonna leave the default name and click on OK. Here too, we need to select what camera we wanna use. In this case, I'm gonna use my Camlink 4K. Once I select Camlink 4K, this brings up my video. Hi again, everyone. Once we have the video selected and you see your video in OBS, let's click on OK. So here I see my video on the large screen, but how do we get this over to Teams? First off, let's go to the top left hand corner and click on File and then go down to Settings in the File menu. Within Settings, we want to scroll down to the section called Projectors and we want to check the box that says Make Projectors Always on Top. So just like we did with the Cam Viewer, we want to make sure that this video file or the video projection always appears on top of other content. Next, let's click on Apply. Okay, so it's always set to appear on top. Next, we're gonna right click on the source or the video camera, and we wanna go to windowed projector or source. Let's click on that. And now we can minimize OBS, and here I also have a video of myself within a window, and I could adjust the size depending on how big or small I want my video to appear. I now have both applications side by side. The benefit of the webcam viewer, which I have right over here that I have my mouse on, this one will have a little bit less chrome. Over on the left-hand side, the OBS video capture will have a bar appear on top. Both of these will appear on top of any content. So let's say I pull a PowerPoint presentation on, my video will appear on top. So now let's test this out and let's go back to Microsoft Teams. I'm back in Microsoft Teams and I'm gonna click on share content on top. And here I'm just gonna share my entire desktop. You have to share your desktop for this to work because our webcam videos are sitting on the desktop. If you do a window, it won't include this. And if you share content down below, it won't include the video. So make sure to select share desktop. Now this is sharing my entire desktop. And if we look over at Adele's view, she now sees me appearing in two video. Now when you do this, you could choose whether you wanna use use OBS or whether you want to use the webcam viewer, you don't have to do it with both. I just want to show you a few different options for being able to pull this off. Next, I'm going to open up Microsoft PowerPoint. So here you see the presentation that I want to share and I'm going to throw it into presentation mode. To throw it into presentation mode, I'm going to go up to slideshow on the top and I'm just going to click on from beginning. So now you see my presentation on Adele's screen and I can position my video wherever I want it. So no longer am I limited to just the corner of the screen. Instead, I can appear anywhere I want. Now for now, I'm going to close one of these just because it's a lot of video of me and you probably we don't need to see that many videos of me, but here now I could put my video down here and maybe I want I want to show myself a little more, bit more prominently alongside my content, so I'll expand my video size. Here I could jump to the next slide and maybe I move my video up to this corner and I could say, hey everyone, check out this content on this slide. Maybe I'm now done going through the content and I want to go full screen. I could change myself to full screen. I could reduce myself again. One other trick that you can do too, you can also throw PowerPoint into windowed mode so you can truly position the content that you're showing in PowerPoint and your video wherever you want on the screen. To do that, within PowerPoint, go up to the slideshow option and bring up the slideshow ribbon and then click on setup slideshow. Within Setup Slideshow, you can choose to show it as a window when you go into presentation mode. Click on this option that says Browsed by an individual window and then click on OK. 
Now when I jump into slideshow mode, this throws the presentation into a window. And so now I can position this wherever I want on my screen and I could position my video wherever I want on my screen. Let's say I wanna do one of these side by side deals where I have my presentation over on the left and then I have my video over on the right. This works as well. In fact, your desktop is your canvas. You could define how your content looks, where things appear. You could pull up maybe a chat. You could have notes. You could have your slides. You could have your video. You could choose however things look on your screen. All right, well that was a quick look at how you can take full control over where your video and your content show up in Microsoft Teams. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future content like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.